Tree Top Twins Adventures. The twins play with a plesiosaur. Written by Cressida Cowell. Long, long ago, the sun shone down on the wild, wonderful world, and the volcanic swamps bubbled and steamed. The Tree Top family, the first ever to invent a time machine, have traveled back to the land of the dinosaurs. In this adventure, they have gone back 80 million years to the Late Cretaceous period, to what is now the USA. Professor Pablo Treetop had been studying hard, so he decided to have a holiday and take the big twins, Alfie and Asha, and the little twins, Tulip and Ted, to the beach. Have fun, everyone, said Professor Penelope as she waved them all off. We're going to have a lovely time, and I'm going to teach Asha how to swim, said Pablo. That's excellent, said Professor Penelope. It's good to know how to swim. I can swim already, frowned Asha. It's just that swimming is more fun with one foot on the ground. Excellent, said Professor Pablo. When they got to the beach, who's going to help me build a sandcastle with the deepest moat in the world? So the twins helped Professor Pablo build the most gigantic sandcastle with the deepest moat in the world. And then they all went in the sea. Alfie and Ted and Tulip and Professor Pablo had a lovely time splashing around in the water. You are not swimming properly, Asha, said Tulip. Yes, I am, said Asha. Swimming is more fun with one foot on the ground. It's good to know how to swim, Asha, said Professor Pablo. Look, you do it like this. I'll stay very near you so I can catch you if you start to sink. But Asha wouldn't take her feet off the ground, however much they tried to persuade her. Then, suddenly, behind the treetop family, in the water, there appeared a strange-looking creature with a long, long neck. Look, Dad, cried Ted, pointing at the animal. What's that dinosaur? I've never seen a dinosaur that looks like that in the dinosaur books. That's because it's not a dinosaur. It's plesiosaur, said Professor Pablo. Plesiosaurs aren't dinosaurs. They are large marine reptiles. This one is called the Elasmosaurus. Oh, my goodness, said Alfie. An Elasmosaurus has the longest neck I have ever seen. It must be more than half the length of its body. Oh, dear, said Tulip. Should we get out of the sea? Don't worry, everyone. We'll be quite safe here in this shallow water, said Professor Pablo. It's not deep enough for an Elasmosaurus to swim in. And besides, Elasmosaurus wouldn't be interested in us. They mostly eat small bony fish. So they all had a wonderful view of the beautiful Elasmosaurus swimming around in the deeper water, diving under the surface and catching fish. It swam very slowly and gracefully, using all four flippers like paddles. Maybe it is quite fun swimming without one foot on the ground, thought Asha as she watched the plesiosaur glide through the water. Okay, Dad, said Asha. If you promise you'll catch me if I start to sink, I'll try to swim like the Elasmosaurus. So Asha flapped her arms and her legs as if they were flippers and Professor Pablo got ready in case she started to sink. And Asha tried as hard as she could to imagine she was a plesiosaur, splashing away like anything, and Asha took her foot off the ground and swam without sinking. She's swimming, said Tulip and Ted and Alfie. She's swimming, said Professor Pablo. I'm swimming, said Asha proudly as she swam around the cir in circles. That's what a, that was a lovely afternoon. The treetop twins and Professor Pablo had a wonderful time swimming in the shallow water, and the Elasmosaurus swam beside them in the deep water. And by the time they got out, Asha could swim nearly as well as a plesiosaur. Well, said Professor Penelope, when they all got home, did you meet any dinosaurs at the beach? We met an Elasmosaurus, said Ted. An Elasmosaurus isn't a dinosaur, it's a plesiosaur, 
said Tulip. Elasmosaurus have very long necks, said Alfie, and they can't go on the beach because they are water animals. And the Elasmosaurus taught me how to swim, said Asha proudly. Professor Penelope looked a little surprised. You are the first person ever to be taught to swim by an Elasmosaurus, grinned Professor Penelope. It was long ago in the time of the dinosaurs. The sky was sprinkled with stars. The ferns and shrubs were cooling down after a long hot day. All the treetop family were fast asleep. Well, nearly all. I'm glad you had a lovely restful holiday, Pablo," said Professor Penelope. "You needed that day off." But Professor Pablo had already fallen asleep, and he was snoring very loudly. <laughs> So his only answer was, snore. <laughs> Digging gigantic sandcastles with the deepest moats in the world and playing with plesiosaurs can be quite tiring for a professor. Real facts about plesiosaurs: Elasmosaurus. Elasmosaurus weren't dinosaurs. They were plesiosaurs, large marine reptiles. They were the longest type of plesiosaur, at up to fourteen meters long. Their necks were more than half the length of their bodies. They used all four, all four flippers, flippers. They used all four flippers like paddles. 懂吗？这一课叫做《当双胞胎和蛇颈龙玩在一起》。Do you like the story, honey? This is a good story. The Treetop family has built a time machine to go back in time to study the age of the dinosaurs. Share with them in their adventures of a lifetime. The end.